everyone. Today we are back with flow, but this is going to be a low energy flow because today I have a very low energy. <laughs> I actually have zero energy at all. I don't know what's up, but you know those days where it's just, I don't know, you can't seem to get out of bed and yeah, your body just isn't super hyped. That's okay. It happens to the best of us. No, I'm kidding. But it happens all the time and it's perfectly normal and it's important to respect it and not force yourself when you don't feel like doing anything. So today I generally don't want to do any form of uh, exercise as we usually use it. I don't want to jump or squat or I don't want to do anything too intense so we're going to go through a nice little stretch um, and yeah some movement to still make you feel alive. But yeah, some slow and gentle movement today. So yeah, perfect, let's get started. So to start, we're gonna go in a narrow leg child's pose. So for that, you're just gonna bring your feet together, your knees together, and you just take your head at the mat, your arms by your side. And we're just gonna breathe in and out through the nose. Focusing our attention on our mat. We're going to slowly roll ourselves back to a narrow seated position. And we're going to take some side bends here just to open the side a little. Keeping our shoulders aligned with the hips here. So really creating a nice long line. I wanted to do this flow in my pajamas because today was supposed to be my pajamas day. <laughs> but I thought this was this would not be so respectful to you. But yeah, you're more than welcome to do this in any sweat or pajamas. Go on the other side, feeling nice stretch on the right or left side. I don't know which start, side you're starting with. In those like during these days where I really feel low, I still love to stretch. I feel like it just releases so like much tension that I have. I'm gonna take some nice big deep shoulder rolls back. Maybe they're really exaggerated here. Rounding the back forward and squeezing your shoulder blades together when you go back like on the other side. And inhaling and exhaling through the crosses, throughout the nose. We're going to take our left leg above our head and push it down here. If you feel like you can do that, take a monkey clasp here. So grab your hands in your back like so. Only if you feel like this is accessible to you and that it gives you more depth in the stretch. It shouldn't bring you any pain, it should just give you depth. Switching our hands here. Starting by pushing gently our arm um, towards our loom. Your arms down, 
I'm low energy and I can't talk. If you can, get your monkey glass. You will find that if you try to do this monkey glass, there is one side that is way easier to reach than the other. And it's perfectly, 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 perfectly fine. We're not even. Nice, exhale, release. We're going to take our hands to touch the mat, take the right leg to top of the mat and straighten that back leg, opening up to the ceiling here. Twisting your spine, opening the chest. We're going to lift ourselves up here to a revolved, revolved, reverse warrior. Putting a little bit of uh, strength in our flow. We're going to take our a reverse warrior here. Reverse, no, revolved, reverse warrior. Revolved, we're reversed. <laughs> Warrior, this is really hard to say. Stretching the front body. Releasing down. Letting go of that back knee. We're going to take a low lunge. Inhale up. Exhale. You can bring your uh, hand to your knee here. Making sure that your hips are facing forward. If this is already more than enough for you, just stay there. If you want to add a little bit more, you can add a twist here. So taking your left hand on the side of your right knee and twisting gently. And if this is also comfortable for you, only if you can take a small twisting back bend. Releasing down, taking your leg back to a plank and switching side, bringing our left foot forward, straight, still having that back leg straight and opening yourself up to the ceiling. You want here to, to really twist and you want it to come from the chest to the upper spine. We're going to bring ourselves up to our reverse warrior and hold here, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And we're going to reverse, revo reverse and revolve warrior. Revolve, reverse, warrior. Opening that right side body and front body. Releasing all the way down here. And we're going to take our low lunge here. So, even out of the stretch if it's too intense. And really making sure your hips are nice and square. Inhale your hands up. Exhale, hands on your knee. And stay here if this is enough for you. Twisting if you want. And opening up that stretch. If that feels comfortable for you. Release everything down. We're going to open up and stand in our straddle now. Interlace our fingers in our back. 
Inhale, up, lengthen, exhale, forward fold. You can have your feet parallel here or your toes slightly inwards. Keep breathing. We're going to release our hands and grab our right leg here and hug that right leg. Hug that right leg, intensifying the stretch in that right leg. We're going to open that foot and we're going to bend that right leg in our right side. Skandasana. Hands on the heart center. That left leg really straight and this, this foot flexed. Open that right knee with that right elbow. If you want, opening those hands and your chest, chest facing the ceiling. And only if it's accessible to you. Taking the bind in the back, twisting. Release your bind if you have your bind. We're going to power ourselves back in our straddle holding forward and hugging that left leg now. Really feeling this stretch in that left leg intensify. You can also feel a nice stretch on that, um, that right that right side underneath the shoulder. I'm not sure what this muscle is called right here, but you know what I'm talking about, I hope. Releasing, bending that left leg and going down to a left side skandasana. Skandasana is always available. It's always available to stand your toes if you can't get your foot flat on the floor. Your right leg should be nice and strong and straight. Hands at heart center, pushing that, that left knee outwards. Opening your, your hands up, if that feels comfortable. Looking to the ceiling, opening your chest. And taking the bind if it is accessible to you. Opening yourself up. Release the bind and power yourself all the way up. Heel toe the feet in just a little bit. And we're going to go in our yoga, yoga squat. Squatting all the way down. Pushing these, uh, these knees open. Feeling a stretch in the groin. Taking a small movement here from left to right. I love this position. It's probably my favorite position. I think it feels so comfortable. Really pushing your hands together to open those knees up. What's really important at pause is that you, you stay really straight in the back and really long. Inhale, reach forward here. Keeping your butt nice and low, trying not to open up like so. Releasing back to yoga squat. 
windmill your arms forward in front of your mat. Do that. I have a small weight block on my, on my yoga mat. And going back to a plank, lowering yourself down to the belly. You're going to blow the through the one away. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Here. Tucking your hands out right underneath your shoulder here. We're going to push ourselves up to seal. We're going to take some small movement up and down. Exhale. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Down. Really making it nice and flowy. Is that a word? I'm not sure. Taking your head last. Make your head follow the movement. Making sure your lower back is nice and straight, not curving too much. Stamping your pubic bone in the mat to protect it. What's really nice about breath work here is that I'm saying inhale up and exhale down, but if the opposite feels better to you, do that. You can experiment. Exhale up. Inhale lower. Curve both. Staying up on that last one. Try not to take that chest forward, pushing that chest forward. Lowering yourself all the way down. Nice. Pushing yourself on all fours here. We're going to straighten that right leg back and that right arm forward. Keeping your lower back neutral. And we're going to try to get a hold of that right ankle with that left leg and kick that foot in the hand. Release forward and release everything. Skating that right hand and left leg, taking a breath here for balance, and then try to get a hold of that left ankle and kicking that foot in the hand, just open yourself up, keeping this glutes, those glutes engaged, again I say that all the time for your lower back, slowly releasing and release everything. We're going to take some rolls here of the, of the hips and of the, how are they called, the wrists for a nice little stretch. Pushing those hips backwards and side forwards and feeling that stretch in the wrist as well. Other side, keep breathing. Nice, back to all fours. And we're gonna finish in the same position we started here, going back to our child's pose. Releasing the head, releasing the, hand, the hands by the side of you. And breathing here. Acknowledging if you feel a little bit more open, a bit more loose, maybe a little bit more energized. Not necessarily, but maybe.
seeing if your mood is slightly better, slightly more cheerful. Rolling yourself bow by bow all the way up, head comes last. Nice! So I know this was a short flow. I hope you can enjoy this flow well in a low energy day, or you can also pair it with more of a workout style video like my plant work plank workout, just to uh, iron everything out at the end. These are some nice deep stretches. Well, I hope you enjoyed everything. And yeah, all the love to you all and I hope you're doing good still. <laughs> Namaste everyone. I'll see you next time.